everyone, it's me, Mr. Wolfman, and we're in glorious HD. <laughs> and that does not stand for hamster disease. I don't know why you would think that, but it doesn't. Anyways, intro! <laughs> Like I said before, if not 10 seconds ago, this is Mr. Wolfman's vlog, and I have a very important message for you guys today. I was going to start with this whole thing about porn and politics, but we'll get to that later. The real news is shocking. You see, earlier today I got a text. A text that will forever change my life. You see, this morning, approximately 11-ish, I don't know, I don't have a watch. I learned that Peyton Manning is playing for the Broncos. And I have to say, this is the happiest damn day in my life. I will forever remember where I was when Peyton Manning was officially... was officially a Bronco. Now, for all of you wondering, yes, I do live in Colorado. And yes, I am a fan of the Broncos. Love them. Most of the time. You see, recently I've had a bit of a falling out with them. It's nothing personal. They've just been playing like a bunch of shitheads. But that's besides the point. We'll get past that. Because guess what, baby? Peyton Manning's in the house. I love it. I like it. Something else. It is a glorious day for all of us. I mean, come on. We knew Peyton Manning was going to sign with the Broncos. It's just obvious. Because it doesn't matter what players you have. It doesn't matter what budget you have. You knew he was going to sign with the Broncos because they're both horse teams. Think about it. The guy loves horses. Colts? Broncos? Hell, if there was a team that was just straight up horses, he would have been on that shit like... I don't know. Now, I'm not saying Peyton Manning's a horse fucker, but... Now that we've gotten that through, I'm just sorry. I'm just, I'm just so excited. Maybe this season I won't be filled with regret and eat myself to death with hot wings. <sighs> oh, well, moving on. In other news, I was on the internet last night, and I came across a story on Yahoo that shocked me to my very core. You see, it was a story about politician Rick Santorum and how he wants to ban porn. This I will not stand for. It's just an affront to everything I stand for. Did I mention I will not stand for it? Because I won't. Here's the thing. This country was built on porn. Good men and women who like to slack it and fap it and just do whatever they want in their pants in the privacy of their own home. Face it, people. We like to jerk it. Let me tell you something, porn is a f very important part of our family life. If we didn't have porn, men would go crazy from the sheer amount of sex they weren't getting. Because if you can't get it, you get it to yourself. And that's just the way we keep it good. Think about it. Think about all the tired women in the world if we didn't have porn. All the women that would actually have to sleep with their husbands if we didn't have porn to satisfy us. Think about all the children. Think about the children, damn it! I love porn. I have hairy palms and it has nothing to do with being a werewolf. I'll tell you now. I'll tell you later. And I'll tell you after I'm done jerking off. Rick Santorum, you can take my porn when you pry it from my cold, clammy, sweaty hands. And that is something that all Americans will stand by. Okay, and I'm better now. I don't like to get political on this show. That's a lie. But anyways, I would just like to leave you guys by saying it's good to be back. And in glorious HD. Ooh, not 3D. I get that. So, let's all have fun. Remember, do stuff. I wish this was a joke. <laughs> Charlie. Oh, yeah.